Kenya hopes to increase the share of electric cars to reach 5% of all vehicle imports by 2025. South Africa, on the other hand, has an ambitious plan of having 2.9 million electric vehicles on the road by 2050. Earlier on, the BBC's Maya Hayakawa spoke to Edna Odiambo, a climate change lawyer. She started by asking her how ready Africa is for electric vehicles. So Africa wants to tap into the electric vehicle revolution like every other continent. And transport accounts for 10% of Africa's greenhouse gases emissions owing to the rise in urbanization as well as rising income. So African cities are bracing for more movement, more vehicles, and now is the time to think about decarbonizing the transport sector to ensure that we get gains for the climate as well as tackling air pollution. And when we look at the six countries that account for 70% of annual vehicle sales in sub-Saharan Africa, this is Kenya, Uganda, Ethiopia, Nigeria, South Africa, and Rwanda, we are seeing good progress when it comes to EVs. Some tax and fiscal incentives in Kenya and Rwanda to encourage the uptake of EVs, though not enough, but this is a step in the right direction. What more do you think needs to be done to make the e-mobility um, ecosystem a thriving one on the continent? The first thing is matters dealing with stabilizing our electricity grids and addressing high electricity tariffs. We have to ensure that we have stable grids that can be able to sustain a functional e-mobility ecosystem. And measures such as charging of electric vehicles during off-peak hours at lower electricity tariffs are definitely going to go a long way in beginning to enable the uptake of electric vehicles. Another thing that African countries must look at is tax and fiscal incentives to be able to lower the upfront costs of EVs. We have to roll out adequate charging infrastructure across our countries so that we can be able to sustain a healthy e-mobility ecosystem. How do you think young people on the continent can position themselves to benefit from the opportunities as the uptake of electric vehicles continues to grow? The largest opportunity for young people in the African continent is thinking about local assemblage and local manufacture of electric vehicles. Africa should look at electric vehicles as an opportunity to innovate as well, to create wealth, to create jobs. And we are going to see quite a lot of opportunities coming from this. We are also going to see lots of opportunities for battery charging and swapping stations. And there is one opportunity that we are rarely talking about. Currently, the world has only 5% capacity to recycle lithium-ion batteries. And this is an opportunity for African youth to innovate. We need to think about the recycling ecosystem of electric vehicles as a means of creating opportunities and jobs for our young people.